the thing is that the people who have ICH are also at very high risk of having thrombosis. So, and, and because these are the people who have um, vascular disease in their brain. So basically, if you stop using an antithrombotic or you don't use it when, when an indication for this comes up, the patient will be at very high risk of, of uh, having uh, thrombosis. On the other hand, it is also known that these people have higher risks than other people of having an ICH. So basically, you have uh, Scylla and Charybdis and what to do. So um, there's been some trials, in, there's been some observational studies in the area showing that the benefits might outweigh the risks of using both antiplatelets as well as OAC. There's been some trials in this. Uh, starting with antiplatelets has been the uh, restart trial, which was a pilot trial showing extremely positive results. But as this is a pilot trial, you have to interpret this with um, some moderation because um, it's and in my opinion, this should be interpreted as no excess risk was observed. Uh, this actually showed a benefit, which which might be possible, and we, we and we need more trials in this area because it's so many people. But uh, but it seems to be safe. Um, and secondly, there's been two small pilot trials that have already been 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 published in OAC, showing that this was also probably safe, but there was a trend towards excess uh, ICH in, in the intervention groups, but just a slight trend. So the result is that what should be done and what uh, is to, to have more trials in order to, to, to find out what to do, because this is a large group of patients. And there are ongoing trials including the Enrich AF, which is probably uh, the largest. Um, and there are also smaller studies, both in France um, and uh, in uh, coming out of Norway. Um, so I think it is likely that within uh, a few years, we will have uh, enough data, perhaps based on um, individual patient meta-analysis, perhaps just based on the largest trial, to make uh, firm decisions in these patients on our advice to, to, to whether to use OAC or not. And we don't know what patients are at the largest risk. We don't know if we should say, okay, if it's a hypertensive bleed, then we just treat hypertension and then we can give them the OAC. We do not know if they have uh, micro bleeds, then we should say, oh, this is too dangerous, then we can't use OAC. Because there's very nice uh, observational data showing that it's not that easy. So we need more knowledge. <laughs>